Hey folks, I'm Chris Brenton. And in this video, I want to talk about what is AC Hunter and what can it be used for? So AC Hunter is a network-based threat hunting tool. It is designed to leverage behavioral analytics to go in and identify command and control channels. So when one of your internal systems gets compromised, AC Hunter will go through and identify it's calling out to a command and control server to get its marching orders. We do that using a scoring-based system. So the higher the score, the more likely the system is in a compromised state. And I can go through and check my systems by looking at what is the total score and then looking at a breakdown of the score on the right-hand side to see what's going on. In order to work properly, AC Hunter needs to be able to see all of the traffic going in and out of your internet link. So that a typical deployment is to install a probe system like Zeek. Zeek will go through and capture all the traffic going by and run that off your span port. You could use a network tap, you know, whatever makes most, the most sense in your environment. But the concept is, is your systems are communicating with the internet. Zeek is seeing all that inbound and outbound traffic. And it's taking a copy of that traffic, passing it over to the AC Hunter system. And what this allows us to do is to identify things like long connections. So imagine this system was compromised. It's calling out to a command and control server and it's just leaving that connection open indefinitely. We'll go in and we'll see that and say, hey, you've got this connection that's been running forever. There may not be a business need associated with that. This may be something you want to pay attention to. We'll also go through and identify beacon traffic. So beacon is just the system is persistently calling out on a regular basis and closing it, even if the connection's jittered. Most tools miss jittered beacon connections because they're relying on an older algorithm that just doesn't do a good job at dealing with jitter. We'll identify even if it's getting jittered. So as that system is calling out on a regular basis, we'll tag that, we'll tell you this is something you need to go in and pay attention to. We'll even work if the attacker has been savvy enough to hide their command and control server behind a content delivery network. And this is a really hard use case for most tools to tag because you're no longer beaconing to a single IP address, you're beaconing to multiple IP addresses. And because it's a content delivery network with legitimate servers behind it as well, there's going to be good traffic mixed in with the bad traffic. So a tool like AC Hunter needs to be able to tell the difference between the good and the bad traffic spread out over multiple IPs, collapse that together, and show you that this is something you need to go in and pay attention to. AC Hunter will even identify when command and control is being run through DNS servers. So the compromised system looks like it's just doing regular DNS queries, you know, same as it always would. But in fact, that's actually being leveraged as a command and control server. AC Hunter will point that out to you as well. So think of this as your last best hope of catching the bad guys, right? If they make it past your firewall, if they make it past your EDR software, if they're able to get malicious code onto your internal system, this is the tool once your, all your protection layers fall apart that's going to tell you you need to go in an incident response mode. You need to do something about that internal system. So that's AC Hunter in a nutshell. Hopefully you enjoyed this video.